Welcome, welcome, welcome. In this video, we are going to do a zero logon attack. And this zero logon attack was discovered last year in 2020, September 2020. And it's basically an authentication bypass vulnerability in the net, net logon remote protocol or the MSNRPC. Um, and what basically do, um, since it is a authentication bypass, Therefore, we are going to be able to change the domain controller password. And if you know that domain controller password, we are going to be able to do a DC sync, which basically uh, we are going to use the, uh, the domain controller password and get any hash from that and do also a, a pass the hash attack. Because if you can get the pass of, of the hash of any user, we can do a pass the hash attack. And you can also do a golden ticket attack because we can get the KRBTGT password. So let's go ahead and do that. We are going to be running Mimikatz and we are going to be running the Mimikatz executable. So let's go ahead and go to the CD because the PowerShell module does not have the zero log on yet. Uh, and that's why we are going to be using the executable. And I believe I have it in here. There it, there it is. So the first thing that we need to do is to verify that we do have um, that our domain controller is vulnerable. So the one that I'm going to be targeting, uh, we are doing the LS dump zero logon attack, and the target is my domain controller. And please be careful, do not do this in a production environment because this could break your domain controller. And the account that I want to go for is with the DC. Let's see what we find. And oh, that's because I did not run Mimikatz. Though, okay, so now from here, we can use this command, and you can see it's going to try to see if it is vulnerable. And we got authentication, okay? So it is vulnerable. The domain controller pen testing that local, right? So what we're going to be doing is we are going to go ahead and exploit it. And the one that you need to do is just add exploit at the end. So the same command, just use uh, use exploit. And you can see authentication, okay, it is vulnerable. Set password, okay, maybe unstable. Okay, so we just set the password. And what was the password set to? The password was set to all zeros, meaning that it was set to nothing. So we just basically uh, knew the password. We deleted that password. So there is, a, there is now no password on the domain controller. Um, so therefore we can do a DC sync attack and that the way that you do that is by running this command over here let's say dump DC sync the DC that you want to target my domain controller the one that we just changed the password to nothing other uh, other session user the DC um, other session domain um, we can just leave that to we can just you can change that to let's leave it at exploit that local and then the authentication password is basically nothing as you can see just two quotes basically meaning that there is no password because we changed uh, the hash of that domain controller to all zeros then it's going to be um, authentication the we are going to be using NTLM but we are not going to use any password, no hash, because it was all set to zero, which means that we knew the password. And the user that you want to get, I actually want to get the, well, we can get the KRBTG. And you can see that we can get the KRBTG NTLM hash, which is really, really bad. Because from here, we can do a golden ticket, solo ticket, we can do a lot with this. So another one that I want to do is that I basically want to um, let's see, let's get the user, let's see if we can find a domain admin user. So we are going to run PowerShell again, and we are going to invoke uh, PowerView, or best friend PowerView. There we go. And we are going to get the get domain group, same account name domain admins see who's in the domain admins group member we can see that's Heath Adams so let's go ahead after Heath Adams 
Um, so the one that I want to get is H atoms. And there we go. We got the ETH atoms until I'm hashed. Therefore, I'm going to be able to do a passive hash attack. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we can do that from, we can invoke Mimikatz from here. Let's go ahead and import that, clear that out. And then we can do a passive hash attack with this command over here. But the one that I want to run it for is Heath Adams, now student five. The domain is pen testing dot local and the NTLM hash is going to be the hash that we just got. And go ahead and run it and that's going to open another PowerShell um, command line and from there we should have the Heath Adams um, token in it. Awesome. Let's see if we can do invoke command and let's go set computer, the active direct, uh, let's see AD. And we want to do a script block. And let's go ahead and do who am I? So invoke command to AD and see if it returns with Heath Adams. And there we go, Heath Adams. So if you do a host name, so you can see that we are in the AD host name. There we go. AD. If you want to do who am I? Oops. Now you can see that you are the building administrator and it, this person is the Heath Adams is in the pen testing domain admins group. So that's what the zero logon is. It is a really, really bad vulnerability that a lot of people, a lot of companies have not patched these vulnerabilities.